All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. So, of course, you get two daily duels today. You're getting the deck profile for Dark Lords going off, and the deck replacing it, Gladiator Beast. I've never played that deck before, so hopefully that goes well. Crossing my fingers. Anyway, here is my deck profile for Dark Lord. So I've been playing with this deck the last couple of months, doing lithium things, doing my own thing, and uh, steadily I started going into my own department. So this is what I went, did with Dark Lord. As you can clearly see, it's a 50 card deck. It's actually probably the first definitive 50 card deck deck that runs Pot of Cupidity that I've done. So uh, there's a little bit of a method to my madness. I'm gonna go into detail about every card, but yeah, if I'm gonna go play Pot of Desires, then I'm always gonna go with the 50 card deck. And it has to be a deck that has multiples of a lot of things where I don't mind banishing too much. So in clearly there's a lot of three of this, three of that, three of this, three of that. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. So of course we are running three except it's probably the best one. <laughs> it really is. Uh, the level 10, the discarding, discard another Dark Lord of Fire 1, card, draw 2, and card, card. It doesn't even have to be a monster, like, it's so good. Uh, it, it's pretty much your trade in your Alert of Darkness, so definitely run 3 of this. Um, I only run 1 Tets. Tets is good, but he's not the end-all, be-all, you know. Uh, if you have it kind of locked down and you have the beater, you have the advantage to worry about getting, like, a Dark Lord of Gaki, which isn't played too often, uh, you can grab him, but like I said, it only protects your Dark Ones of follow one monster shouldn't be destroyed by battle or by card effect. They're pretty strong beaters, so maybe you'll get destroyed by battle, but possibly not, but there's a chance you'll get destroyed by card effects. So if you want to go ahead and grab him with uh, one of your searches and have him in your hand, that's great. I mean, his stats aren't bad either. I mean, 2,800 attack is nothing scoff, and of course he does have the whole Dark Lord on the field, uh, pay 1,000, return, and use the effects. Same thing with x tab. So the New Age Dark Lords, they're definitely pretty powerful with that effect. At first, I was kind of like, eh, the effect really depends on what spells and traps they get. They got some pretty decent ones. I kind of wish they would get, like, one more really good trap, but I'll go into more detail about them when I get the traps. Running two Mastium, uh, Mastema? Mastema? I think that's his name. Mastema is okay. He's okay. Uh, at first, I was like, ugh, like, why would I ever want to discard two Dark Lord cards to summon him? But there's actually times where he's actually not too bad. His stats are 26. 26 is pretty good. Discard two Dark Lord cards, two others. But you can easily discard, like, one of your revival cards or discard... You know, I can discard my revival card because that's cards. Discard my revival card, discard a Dark Lord, summon him. Then he can use his effect, pay a thousand, return the revival card, or summon the monster. So there's actually situations where Mastema... Mastem, Mastema... I can't say his fucking name. This guy. This guy is actually, uh, times where this guy is actually not too terrible to actually use. So that's why he's at two. You know, he's not a three of. You know, I saw Elysium doing a three of in one of his decks, and I was like, nah, nah, because he gets kind of cloggy because you don't want to summon him that way. But if it comes to push comes to shove, he's nice to have. His stats are good, and you can summon him that way. You know, like I can pitch this and then search. I can put this in the graveyard to use later. You know, so there's some things that you don't mind pitching. You run three. Uh, Amadeus, I think that Amadeus is? Uh, I don't know. Amu. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Amu. Uh, this guy's actually pretty good because I can get my resources back. So I can discard this and another Dark Lord or Fallen One card to grab one of my Dark Lord or Fallen One cards back from my graveyard and add back to my hand. So it's kind of like a Monster Reincarnation, which is pretty good to go ahead and grab your resources back, where I can just be like, alright, well, I'm gonna pitch this and like freaking like a useless one of these or something, which I don't mind in the graveyard. Just grab this back, use it. So. Uh, yeah, this card is pretty good. The stats kind of, eh, like, it's only 1,800 attack, but that 2,800 duty for, you know, level 6 is kind of high, but, yeah, attack is low, so. Uh, it's generally not going to be a monster on the field, but, you know, for its hand effect, it's pretty good. And, you know, the more dark coins we have for everything, the merrier everything is. Uh, we run Triple Superbia. Superbia is still the OG that, despite all the new Dark Lords, we're still running Triple Superbia because that whole, when this card is special summon, special summon a Delta Fairy type from the graveyard, it's just awesome, you know. Uh, it still has that uh, missing timing, and you know, that's a dead kind of thing to do. But it does say when this card is special summoned, so rip. Uh, you can miss timing, so be careful there. Make sure it's the last thing to be resolving the chain so you get the effect. If you mess that up, you're not going to get shit. Uh, it's after really good 2900 attack, 2400 defense. It's level 8 for a trade in target. The overall is just great. Uh, we run one Osmodius. Pretty much Osmodius' job is to be number generated at one, get it, summon it. And then use its foolishing effect to send a fairy, send a Chrissy out. That way I can revive my Chrissy out through my call to hunt to the oasis and lock the other door. That's pretty much the only reason why uh, Asmodeus is in here. So uh, it's, it's, it's stats are fine 3,000 attack, 200 chest. It just can't be special summon. You know, it cannot be special summon in the deck or graveyard. So it's just kind of eh, but I mean, it's still nice to go ahead and uh, do it. And then when it's destroyed, I can go ahead and grab it. And it's a trade in target. So. You're on one Dark Lozerado, there's Darks in here, it's a Dark Lord, I can pitch, you know, blow up all your monsters and go for game, because my strong beaters, so. And then, Triple Christia, uh, 
like I said, Christia is very important in here, and with pot of, uh, pot of cupidity, pot of desires, I want to run triple of everything that's important. So, are you important? Yes. Are you important? Yeah. Yeah. You're important. You're important. So, that's why it's triple Christia instead of only one. You can only run one. You can, you can do only one if you're running like a 40 card version deck. I, like I said, I did do a card of demise version that was, you know, 40 cards and ran one Christia. And, but that, when I run the pot of desires, I want to make sure that I at least have that one Christia to lock you out. So, and then the quicker I see it, the quicker I can like trade it in or get it out of my hand, like Twin Twister or something, get in the graveyard and then revive it. So, and then I think there was actually one time where there was actually four fairies and I special summoned it properly. It was pretty powerful. But Jesus Christ over here, you know, it's a, a whole eight fairy that has synergy with the deck for the trade-ins and Superbia. So let's go. Uh, like I said Lithium was doing the whole um, Vanity theme, but he he doesn't have synergy like Christia. So. All right, and that's all the monsters. Yeah, not a lot of monsters. Let's go into the triple trade-in, because eight, 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 eight. So, trade in the monsters. And I want you in the graveyard, and I want you in the graveyard. You and you, I mean, sure, I'll gladly trade you in, but you you two are the ones I want in the graveyard. The quicker I get you in the graveyard, the better. So, triple trade-in. Triple Twin Twister, you know, pop that back row. Pitch, pitch, pitch. So, uh, triple of my Ulster of the Dark Lords, my Monster Reborn. Sucks that it summons in defense mode. But I, I could see the damage that could cause if I could summon attack mode. So I summon, summon Superbia, Superbia summon something else, and that's already, you know, over 5,000 damage right there. So it summons in defense mode, which is kind of rip, but, you know, it's totally great to go, you know, summon Superbia, Superbia summon like a Dark Lord, then this Dark Lord can go ahead and put this card back and then revive something else, so. Uh, triple casting out, that's my search card, so. I play my search card, search, and then if I win my Dark Lord monster on the field, they can pay 1,000, put this card back in the deck to get another search, so that's good. Triple Pot of Cupidity. So I wanted to try it out, you know, I can't really knock until I try it. I'm not a big fan of it, but you already know that straight up. Great Neo G, it's competitive because it is a plus one. Uh, and while well, freaking TPI Joe is like, oh, it has a cost. Like, yes, it has a cost. So obviously, you know, advantage top card, top of your deck, face down, that's the cost. But when people say that it's costless, we mean resource-wise. It doesn't cost any resources. Cards in your deck aren't resources. I play this, I banish the top card, 10 cards in my deck, but resources in my hand and field, I just drew, played one card to draw two. That's a plus, that's a plus one. So people are like, oh, it's a neg nine. No, it's a plus one. This card's really good if you could play it properly and in the right hands. And I think that Dark Lords are definitely a deck and more aggressive decks that realize, just decks that don't rely too much on combo pieces and have multiple uh, copies of particular cards. Like, Blue have multiple different Blue Eyes. This deck has multiple different Dark Worlds that I can play at three. So, that's the reason why this uh, this card works, but I have reasons for uh, going to this extreme. So, uh, we, for one, we're running, this is why we're running a 50 card deck, we're still running that one upstart for filler. That pay, give them 1,000 to see the next card, it helps. It helps. Like, despite being this card, one, it still helps. And it's obviously a card I totally wouldn't mind uh, hitting with Pot of Pity. I played a Pot of Desires, and it upstart gets banished. Oh, well, it's just going to be the next card anyway, so who cares? And then at the same time, this is another one more filler shit, and then what I've been seeing, what I've been doing lately with Pot of Desires, I'm actually doing Triple Reckless Greed, because yeah, it's another card that draws me into it, and it's just as powerful as tax. If I can get Triple Reckless, especially if I can go like, all right, well, I opened up with like two Reckless. All right, Pot of Desires, Banish 10, draw on two. Oh, look, another Reckless. Let me draw on fucking six cards. But it's another one of those cards just like Upstart where I don't mind banishing off of the Pot of Desires. So it's kind of like that filler shit, but it can still get you that draw. Especially with the high drawing, like this is a draw, this is a draw, this is a draw, this is a search, this is a draw, this is a draw. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of cards in here that I don't mind getting rid of or, you know, skipping my next draw phase, especially if I, if I can get them stacked, so... Uh, triple of the Dark Lord falling from grace. This card is awesome. Like I love this card. I don't like the I don't like to change your heart. You know, I'm not gonna go neg and tribute my monster to take your monster. You know temporarily. I want to pop your shit. So uh, if I'm gonna tribute one of my Dark Lord monsters from my hand or face up on the field to pop one of your cards, I want to do that. I want you to take a hit just like me. And I'm gonna take a neg one. You're gonna get it. So I'm not gonna fucking take a neg two. Change your heart temporarily unless I'm going for games. So I was like I don't like that card. And that's why I kind of wish they had one more good trap because. This is good, this is good, this is eh, yeah. I mean, this is good, this is good, this is kind of eh. Like, you could debate, like, you could probably run it too, especially with Call of and Oasis and the way that I'm running Christia. But the change of heart, I don't like it. So I kind of hope that if Dark Lords, if they're still playing and I feel like playing them, that they get one more great trap card, because this one's kind of eh. Like, they don't have to get, like, a, you know, a Infernity Barrier or anything along like that, but maybe, like, I don't know what you could give them. I really don't know what you could give them. But, uh, something, something. Maybe like a fiendish chain or something. I probably wouldn't mind that. Yeah. 
give them like a phoenix chain like i send one dark lord monster I found one uh, uh monster from my hand or face up a field then target a monster uh it doesn't, maybe you know i have to be targeted like i just you know select a monster or uh monsters on my opponent's field are yeah, you know, select or oh, target a monster in my opponent's field, and its effects are negated, and it can't attack as long as card strikes on the field. I wouldn't mind that. So, something along like that, something worth my, the bang for my buck, because the change of hearts is just not worth it, in my personal opinion. Then, of course, I got triple oasis and triple call of the haunted for this and for this and for really all of this. Like it's all great. Like, the fact that I can run triple call of the haunted and triple oasis is sometimes crazy, but we already know that. We see it in cosmos and, and tellers and all that great shit. Then, of course, the song brigade, the strike, the warning. Um, I mean, there's really nothing explained there. And then the one vanities. Generally, I haven't been playing vanities in my decks, but if I'm going to hit you with Christy, I want to hit you with vanities, right? Uh, the Gustav Max, because we have some 10s, so if I can go for a game with two of these on the field, why not? Dora, because there's some 10s. I've been doing this a lot lately. Like, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see it in Chemical Beast as well. Uh, I run one Galaxy Prime Dragon, because he can increase attack really strong. One Cyber Blade, just in case I want to take. Then two Full Armor and two uh, Cyber Blade, because this combo I really like. Like, I love just, if I have eights, go into this, and go into this, detach, pop a face-up card, then go into this and detach and pop up another card. Like, it's just, it's kind of worth my neg of Xing into these cards. So that's what, that's what the ratio I've been doing. I, uh, we actually have some level 8 dark, so I can actually go into number 22 zombie sign. That's pretty powerful. Felbrand, Hope. Uh, I guess I ran another one. Like, this is probably not necessary. I could probably take this out for something else. I kind of just threw it in there. Like, this isn't necessary. Like, this, this, and then this is just it. So I probably don't need that. You could probably replace that with another rank 8. Then, I don't know, grinder, gimmick, puppet, or whatever. Just, you know, there's plenty of good rank 8s. Uh, Hope, uh, the Lancelot, just in case, go for game. And then I believe I have some 6s. So, what on Strike Bouncer, and then I have some 7s. So, big eye. So, there we go. There's the deck profile for Dark Lord. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. You guys want to take this deck, go ahead and play it. Like I said, 50 cards, but you can clearly see I have a lot of filler and fluff and stuff. So it, it evens out. It evens out. So I will be back tomorrow with yet another deck profile. I'll be doing the deck profile for Destiny Heroes, and then I'll be tagging playing with Zephyr. So we'll see how that goes. So if you haven't seen the, the Daily Duels that went up today, me playing with Gladiator Beast, be sure to uh, watch them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels with Deck Profile. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.